Who can understand the pain of Siamese girls? Underwear cannot be set from the foot, can only be tied with a rope. One person gets up, the other one must also get up, even making out with a man. The other one has to watch from the side. Unlike other disabled people, the sisters are cheerful and generous. They face life with a smile every day. And God is also very kind to them. They have been given a good pair of noise, with their hunting appearance. Beautiful noise. The sisters made a lot of money by singing for the church members. They earned a lot of money. They also supported their parents who only knew how to eat, drink and gamble, although the two sisters are linked together, but their personalities are completely opposite. The younger sister, left, is quiet and has no opinion. What she wants, but what she wants is to live together with her sister forever. And the sister, right, she is irascible and loves freedom, and opinionated, always wanted to live alone with her sister. Soon God gave her this opportunity. One day, when the sisters were performing, they met a Swiss doctor. He accused the sister's parents, for their own benefit, for letting their two beautiful daughters to live a life of disability, something that could have been solved by surgery when they were children. They had to put it off until 18 years later. What is this if not exploitation? Finally, he left a business card. He told the sisters that if they needed anything, to come to him anytime. In the car, the sister asked her father for the card, but dad refused. He said it's really that good to be a normal person? How many normal people live like dead dogs? And you're eating and drinking with this crippled body, isn't that great? These words left my sister speechless. She also understood completely. This pair of black-hearted parents, they don't love them at all. They just treat them as money makers. It seems it's time to fight back. At a performance, she deliberately did not sing. The father was very anxious. He had no choice but to take the sisters to the hospital. After examination, the doctor said the chances of success were very high because the sisters did not share any organs. Only some skin and blood vessels were stuck together. He could do the surgery for free, but the cost of going to Switzerland would have to be paid out of pocket. Naturally, dad didn't want to pay for the trip. If he really went to Switzerland for the surgery, then how can he lie down and count his money in the future? The first argument between father and daughter broke out. My sister was silent on the sidelines. She understood that the reason why her sister wanted to have the operation, it was because she was in love with a man. This man is too happy too. He kissed her with his mouth. His right hand was touching his sister. Who could feel better than him? This man and the sisters met at a trade show. He claimed to be an agent. He thought the sisters had the potential to become big stars. If they wanted to, they could always come to his private yacht to talk about the script. The price and other things are negotiable. With these words of his, successfully aroused the desire in the sister's heart. She was eager to get rid of her parents' control and live alone. Maybe this man would give her money for her to have the surgery. When she succeeds, she can pay him back slowly. If the two of them fall in love, it's not a double success of career and love. With a vision of the future, one early morning, she ran away from home with her sister. They both drove a small motorcycle, looking for a man's yacht along the road. The breeze on their cheeks, the smell of freedom. I don't know how many days passed. The two sisters finally found the yacht. The man greeted them warmly. He even knelt down to take off their shoes. The sister was even happier. But when they entered the yacht, both sisters were stunned. Such a sexy scene. You can only see it on a hard drive. A woman even came right up to them and carefully stroked their hair. There was a playful look in her eyes. Soon, the men take them to the room and start pouring alcohol. The sister refused. The sister drank without ceremony. Looking at the woman raw and brave, the man's eyes were filled with desire. He stroked his sister's face. He kissed her skillfully. The sister responded with passion. The sister felt embarrassed. Didn't we agree to borrow money to do the separation surgery? We haven't even arrived at the hospital yet. And already the injections are starting early? Slowly, the sister felt that something was wrong. That man's hand. Why does it always stick to her pants? Sister then realized that man wasn't trying to help them. He just had a special fetish. He just wanted to have a good time. It seemed that the only way to escape, to save herself. But now my sister is inside. She's having a good time. I can't rely on her if I want to get out of here. Right now there is only one way. I've never seen such a heartless father. His daughters committed suicide by jumping into the sea. He doesn't even feel sorry for them. He even cut his daughter daughter's hands with a knife, letting countless believers tear the wounds. At this point, the sisters could no longer feel pain because their hearts had died. What is the physical pain? They were like robots, letting the religious people touch their bodies, especially the nun. She was on the verge of collapse. Just a few days ago, she approached the man she loved to ask for help. But that man only wanted to have a threesome. Fortunately, 
Her sister excused herself and said she needed a drink of water and sent the man away. So the two sisters escaped to save their lives. They didn't know how to swim, so they jumped into the sea without hesitation. This is certainly an act of suicide. Two people in the water struggling desperately, but a large amount of seawater kept pouring into their mouths and noses. Gradually, their consciousness became more and more blurred. The two sisters sank. When they woke up again, they found their father right beside them. It turned out that their father had saved them. I think their family was close by. At last, they felt a little safe. But what surprised me was that the money-hungry father had a bad idea. He cut the sisters' hands with a knife. He also cheated the church members with the pastor. The two girls who couldn't swim were protected by the spirits. So after committing suicide by jumping into the sea, they were able to save their lives again. Just touch their blood so tans to get good luck those religious people who wished for good luck as if they were possessed pressed the girls hands hard trying to absorb the good luck no one cared whether the sisters would die of blood loss they only wanted just to make themselves luckier a family without love the false intentions of men the selfishness of those around them my sister couldn't take it anymore in a song of longing for freedom and equality she grabbed a knife and committed suicide my sister was terrified she hugged her sister's body and cried when she woke up from her hospital bed. There was no sister beside her. Was she dead? She panicked and dragged her frail body. She frantically searched the hospital for her sister. Finally in the hospital room, she saw her sister intact. She went up to her sister and hugged her from behind. After 18 years together, her beloved sister finally used this method. She was set free. She was happy for her sister. But is freedom really a good thing? Who knows?